Okay, this is the first stage of nano coating. We get a container like this and we put in the caustic soda, which is, you get this from the supermarket. And uh, it's only about $10 for a bottle. Okay, so we get this container, we sprinkle it into the bottom. Try and keep a fairly even layer so that all the cover, nearly all the plastic's covered. It's better if you have a container that's got a flat bottom too, by the way, instead of this ridge. That's one thing I've learned. So that should be enough, I reckon. Okay, now, okay. So I'll just lie these in here. The idea is you want to completely cover these in water and pour the boiling water in so you want to keep them pretty flat. And these wires you can go into. Okay, so I'm going to put the last bit of this plastic on the top. Just for a little extra oomph. Okay, we've got some boiling water here and it's got to be tipped into this container and then sealed up. Uh, hi, this is stage two of the nanocoating process. So what we do is I get a bit of chicken wire, form a little bit of a section there to create it like a table, so it sits a little bit raised up from the bottom of the container. So now what I do is I fit these wires. Remembering always to wear gloves when you do this job. You don't want to get this, these are nano coated wires. You don't want to get that nano coating on your skin. So what we're creating here is a homogeneous environment, which means you don't want to change things halfway through the process. For example, when you use this container for the first stage, of the nano coating, you want to also use it for the second stage, the same container. So that's pretty much ready to go. So these are my nano coated plates that were put through the first stage of, of the caustic bath. And uh, what I do basically is with these little ties, I hook them onto these wires. And this is of course, at this stage we're doing what's called steam nano coating. We're not actually going to submerge these components under the caustic water. We're going to keep them raised above the water and just have the caustic steam coming up off from the bottom over the plates. And this is to cause the nano layers to grow and to get the process going along a bit better. It brings it along a lot faster. So I've pre-drilled the holes, shown in other videos, so it just makes it easy then to thread all this in. So as you can see from the last part of the clip, we've got uh, all these components all ready to go. They're all set up on the wire and a couple leaning on the sides. So we add the caustic soda. And in this case, we don't need as much as in the first time. And we We've merged all these uh, components. We just need some on the bottom, a little sprinkle across the bottom. So that should do it. Because this time, when we put, add the boiling water. We're going to actually only put in about maybe a centimetre of water right through out the bottom under the, under the chicken wire because we want to keep these pieces up out of the out of the caustic water and just have the steam caustic steam coming up and um, 
increasing the uh, nano coating process and and also the nano layers on top of the surface of the copper. So our next step is to pour in the boiling water, which we shall do shortly. This is the last stage of part two of the nano coating steam coating process. So the water's boiling. We tip it into our container and then put the lid on. Seal it up. Okay, this is the uh, third stage of the nano coating process. We have to stick these plates that have been into after the steam coating. They go into this um, set up in this container, and uh, what we do is um, take a little bit of charge out of these these plates because uh, they actually build up charge, and when you extract the charge out of them, it encourages the growth of the nano layers, which is the black material. It's forming on the surface of the copper. So you want that nano layers to just build up and build up and this is how you do it by draining some of the current out of out of the plates. So you set, set up your first electrode into this wire mesh. Make sure you've got a nice connection otherwise you just wasted your time doing this. It's set on um, millivolts you got millivolts up here and it's in DC okay so you want it on millivolts so when you touch on there you'll see the values jumping all over the place so it's 99, 70, 50 but now you see it going up still after a little while it'll start going down so you do this for about 10 seconds on each plate and so that really promotes the uh, nano layers to grow on this on this plate. So and sometimes I change the position of the electrode. So what the uh, go is with this is you've got to do this every five to six hours for four days. But if you want the best results with your nano coating and then get the best results for making GANs later, you have to uh, go through the process of uh, doing this every five to six hours for four days. Or for the longer you do it, the more layers you build up on the surface and then that's going to be giving you better results with the GANs. This is also part of the drying process because normally you have liquid in the bottom which isn't coming in contact with the with the plates so you keep it in a moist environment and at this stage of the game you don't seal the lid back on like you do for the first two stages you leave an air gap that's very important as well otherwise it's not going to get, give you the best results so that's basically it